the NFL on EA Sports, and we'll see which of these Golden State teams has the Midas touch in this one. It's the Los Angeles Chargers and the Los Angeles Rams, and it's all up next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the Los Angeles Chargers and their Southern California rivals, the Los Angeles Rams. everybody alongside my partner Charles Davis I'm Brandon Gordon and Charles when you and I were going through our final run throughs at breakfast we kept thinking tonight we're going to get to see a couple of very good passing offenses and we're talking about both sides having multiple receivers that could have an impact on this game it's not just one guy that's going to make all the plays if you take him away maybe number two number three they make the big plays that impact who wins the game will go as a touchback and they will begin things at the 25. And here comes Matthew Stafford leading the Rams offense out there just as he did last season when he captured his first in the Rams second Super Bowl title. Matthew Stafford's first season in Los Angeles could not have gone better as he proved to be the missing piece that brought the Rams a Lombardi trophy. It was a very well-deserved moment for the 13th year pro who was 12th all-time in yards and touchdowns, but had never experienced a postseason victory before that season. Now, you just call him a Super Bowl champion, and boy, did he embrace the Rams' offense from the start with almost 5,000 yards and 41 touchdowns in 2021. Stafford going to throw from the outset. And the Chargers rush is going to get there. Down he goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. How about the defense there try to set the tone on the very first play of the game? Yeah, there's a little bit of a glow here tonight because they brought the heat right out of the gate. What a good job establishing a tone for this one. A situation they'll certainly want to avoid going forward. An early second and long they're facing. Here's the first carry of the game for Cam Akers. And he'll take this up only to about his 18-yard line. They get two yards back, but they're going to need a lot more than that here on third down. Back to throw, Stafford. He'll get this complete to Cooper Cup. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. How about that? They weathered the storm of a third and 17 to pick up the first. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Stafford going to give this to Akers. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, with that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense because someone's going to run for some big yardage. Off the fake to Akers, here's Stafford. Open man right side is Cup complete. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. Here's a run with Akers on second down. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. They follow up the gain of five by only getting one there on second down. 
But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Sometimes the game is pretty simple. Put a few extra defensive backs on the field, give them nowhere to throw the football, force the incompletion, and get off the field on third down. Here we go on fourth. Stanford. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. No luck for the Rams as they fail here on fourth down. And this defense holds on the night's opening drive. And that could be a major momentum swing here early. Because the defense stopped them. How great is that? They go for it on the first drive of the game. They're the ones trying to establish something, trying to assert a little dominance. And guess what? You turn it back on them and give the ball to your own offense. I agree with you. It can change momentum in a big way. Herbert and the Chargers now with a first and 10. Just shy of midfield at the 49. Here's Eckler to begin the drive. And he's going to take this one across midfield and into Ram territory. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. And that's an early scramble that can be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish him as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they avoided giving up a huge play in one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Charger first down. Once more, here's Eckler. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. So back-to-back -back plays, each get nothing. And that's going to set up a tough third and nine. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. He finds his target, Allen. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Uh, that's a sharp throw right there on third down. They're looking to get the first points of the game, and they certainly don't want to be on a field goal. So that's a nice job to get the hook up and set up a first and goal. Here we go now on first and goal. They go back to the ground now with Eckler. And he will get in across the chalk for a Chargers touchdown. Austin Eckler, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Chargers are on the board first on the road here in L.A. Well, first quarter, maybe too early to talk about statement drives, Charles, but that sure seemed like a statement drive right there. Well, if we're going to talk about statement drives, I think what they're saying is we're going to establish the run. They gave it to him early and often on this drive, and he wound up taking it into the end zone. Extra point good by Hopkins, and it's now a 7-0 game. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away.
And they'll start at the 25 as Powell decides against returning it. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. They've got some stuff to build on from that last drive because they moved the football CD and then they try to go for it on fourth down, didn't convert, probably left a bitter taste in their mouths. I would say so, and I think that they go out in this series determined for that not to happen again. In fact, they don't even want to get to a fourth down opportunity. They just want to make sure they get it done within the parameters that they've set for themselves. Run their offense, get it into the end zone. Yeah, I think a little bit of determination and a dash of anger. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Stafford now to throw. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. So we've seen some good pressure defensively already here in the first quarter. Here's another good example. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Here's Stafford. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by J.C. Jackson, and they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. Oh, Brandon, this is a veteran quarterback back there. He should know better than to make a throw like this. This is definitely not his best ball, and I think he knew this was trouble the second it was leaving his hand. The Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. And they'll be looking to make this a two-score advantage. Had the touchdown on their first drive, Charles. Hey, they can get up two scores here on the road. That's a heck of a start. And not only have they thought about it, I wonder if they visualized it. I remember playing and they used to turn the lights out in our meeting room and run through a situation like this and say, just think about what it would be like to be up on the road and take the crowd out of it. Maybe they did some of that. Well, in every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Herbert with a connection to Allen for a charger first down. Well, as a coach, you absolutely love seeing your offense find their rhythm early, and that's exactly what we've seen so far. They had a touchdown on their opening drive, and now they connect here for another nice game for a first down. This offense is moving the ball well, exactly as he drew it up in practice. Bobby Wagner, the only tackle. Now it's second and nine. Back to throw here, Herbert. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. Herbert able to show his wheels as he gets the first. I don't think that run was anything that was designed, but when his reads were blanketed as he went through his progressions, all that was left was for him to run and try and pick it up himself. Let's go. They'll fake the handoff. Now Herbert. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Bobby Wagner, multiple times an all pro in there to drop him for a loss. First and goal looked like things were set up nicely, and now all of a sudden on second and goal, Charles, a big challenge ahead of him. And you have to know when you're this close to the goal line, things are going to happen faster, so you've got to get the ball out quick. Not going to have much time in the pocket before the defenders bring pressure. That time the completion goes for four yards, and we're set up with a third and goal. Here's Herbert. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. Hopkins' kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the wheel. And they'll start at the 25 as Powell decides against returning it. L.A. set to take over again on offense. They find themselves down 10 nothing early after the interception on their opening drive led to a field goal. So now they've got to pick up the mantle a little bit. You mentioned the team's down 10. They've helped contribute to that. 
How are they going to get their team back into this ball game? Run the offense that you think is going to be effective and execute it at a high level. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Stafford. He's got Higby complete right side. And able to use the stiff arm to gain leverage initially, but not much room thereafter. A gain of five. And it'll leave him with third and a full yard to go. They'll try and run for this with Akers. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. I know the game's changed. A lot of people would say it's evolved. Look, I'm a little bit Neanderthal, okay? I love this. No exotic formations, no misdirection. Just line up and run the darn ball, pick up the first down. I love it. Yeah, third and short, that's what you're supposed to do. Like you said, old school smash mouth football. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Ten nothing to score after one on EA Sports. The Rams with the football here to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a third down coming up. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Throwing on third down, Stafford. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Well, based on what we've seen so far, I don't think you can even call this an off day anymore, partner, because this group we're watching, they are totally out of rhythm trying to get their game plan up and running. That zero on the scoreboard is glaring down at them with every incompletion. Here comes Carter. 42-yard punt, six on the return. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. L.A. readies for its next possession. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased, and they didn't punch it in for six points. But those have to remember, they did put points on the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Eckler going to get it again on second down. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. When you go from second to four to third and three, that just tells you who won that battle in the last play, huh? Yeah, first round went to the offense, second round the defense. Herbert on third down now. He gets this out to Spiller. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard. It's that. So give him two yards there on the completion. And that's going to make it fourth down. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down, they just said, we got faith in our tackles. We'll give you the short stuff. And just decided to protect the sticks. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, plays like that, I can clip and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense. 43 yards on the punt, seven yard return, and the Rams will go on offense here with the first and 10. They'll fake the give, now Stafford. That'll be caught, it's Cup. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive, first down. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. They'll run on first down with Akers. And he's going to get across midfield and into Charger territory. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. From just shy of midfield, Stafford. Throw left side, complete to come. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, 
you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. And he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that. And that's what he did. Automatic first down. A bad time for a roughing penalty, and they get the gift of a first and ten. From the gun, here's Stafford. Looking for Cooper Cup again, two in a row. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Another connection between the two. This one good for 12 and a first down. That's the third time on this drive that these two connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going. And right now, it's paying off with big chunks of yardage, as shown by that last play. From the red zone now, Stafford. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Khalil Mack. That is now two sacks for him here in this first half. He continues, Charles, to be under constant pressure. And these sacks, they're starting to pile up. And if they want to have a realistic chance in this one, they've got to change their blocking assignments. They've got to do a better job to keep him upright. If he's going to be on the deck constantly, they've got no chance to win this game. It's complete to Robinson. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. The offense on third down tonight, they've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This is going to be third and 13. Out of the gun, Stafford. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. The pressure from multiple guys there as they bury him for a big nine-yard loss. Fourth down, and we go from one mat to another. Stafford heads off. Matt Gay gets set for the Rams field goal. And that hits the right upright and caroms away. It's no good. And they will not cut into that 10-point lead. So plenty of leg, but it's the accuracy there that lets him down. Yeah, he hit it really well. I think this might have been good from 55, but you'll see it just conk off that upright, and they're denied a chance at three points. The Charger drive about to get going. Finds the open man. It's Mike Williams. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. Brings up second and three. The 44 yard line. To throw again on second down. Herbert looking for Allen. He's got him on the slam. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 at enemy territory. 11 yards there as they connect on the quick slam. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Now, quick throw there, going to be batted away and incomplete. Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time. Separation, that's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. And able to push forward for right around three yards down to the 42. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? And the Rams got it. They bring him down. Drop for a loss of seven by multiple defenders. A CD, you know, so often we talk about quarterbacks holding on to the ball too long. Well, we can't say that there. He had no time to do much of anything. Yeah, that's what we turn to live and say, uh, guys, can I get a little help here? And you have to ask politely, because remember, they're blocking for you the entire game. But as a quarterback, you've also got to have the clock running in your head when you need to get rid of the football. But this time, he had no chance. They were on him instantly. As we check the next-gen stats, you'll see he had precious little time to do anything with the football there. Now the Rams offense getting the football back. And the last time that they were on the field, a little demoralizing. Missed field goal. You know, always feel like you want to get it in the end zone. But then, oh, well, at least we're going to get three didn't go through the goalpost so it does test the mental processes of a team though doesn't it 
Because when you miss a field goal, it's amazing how fast they want to turn on the guy kicking the ball. But you need to keep this confidence up because how many times have we see in games where it comes down to a stretch? And guess what? You need that guy to make the big kick for your team to move on or to win a game. Make sure you keep him happy. Make sure you keep him comfortable. I'm sure you always treated the kicker nicely, though, right? You know, truthfully, I did. Good. I always did because those guys, they won us a whole lot of games. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. So that'll be no better than an incompletion. And it's second down. That's a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained. So they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. They'll run out of the gun with Akers. And he'll push forward to the 37, gain of two. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. An extra defensive back on the field for the Chargers now on third down. Now Stafford. Yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. Fourth down, so on is the punter, Riley Dixon. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. On the return, Carter. So a good punt, but a solid 12-yard return. And out will come the offense as they take over. Chargers offense back onto the field. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still, they've got the lead here and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And he goes out right around the 39. A good first down call as the screen play gets him nine. And a really nice play call there to start the drive, especially if you're a team that has a little bit of a reputation for throwing it downfield. You come out, and you think maybe you can catch them off guard a little bit, and they did. A little screen pass, back door to them, and that time was well for a solid game. So the completion gets him just a yard, and they'll be faced with a third and inches. That's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, short tackle. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. Here's Kelly on fourth down. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. They only needed a few inches, but still some anxious moments there. But they do convert on fourth. He needed less than a foot. He didn't get a whole lot more than that, but he did get the first down. Well, he and his offensive line created enough push where if he was able to just fall forward as he was able to there, that would pick up the first down. As you noted, didn't need a whole lot. Didn't get much more than that. Meanwhile, Herbert's throw into the hands of his receiver, Guyton. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. 15 yards there for number 15. This league is all about speed in the receiver position, and Jalen Guyton, he's got it in abundance. Almost 1,000 yards over the last two seasons in Los Angeles while playing as the Chargers' third or fourth receiver much of the time. Nice first down pickup with that catch. On first down, Justin Herbert. And this one is incomplete. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far. But on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Here's Herbert. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. And the Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll stop him with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. The 
From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Herbert back to the air. And that one will fall incomplete. Clock here now, just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. To throw on second and 10, Herbert. Throw left side complete. That's Williams. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. A charger first. There's Herbert finds Williams. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Herbert operating from the red zone. And he's going to lose a yard or two, taken down behind the line. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. After the sack, here's second and 11. Now it's Herbert. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Ramsey. And the Rams are going to get it back here just shy of the 20. Absolutely a golden opportunity missed there to add to their lead and really cap off an impressive drive because they've got the advantage and plenty of time to add to it. But on the flip side, plenty of time for an opposing comeback as well. So when you have the chance to distance yourself, not ditch so early, partner, you know you don't want to let it slip away. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. So we have reached halftime intermission with the visiting Chargers on top as we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome everyone to our brand new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. First, though, let's run through the next-gen stats for the Chargers in that first half. And the ground game has been a big part of why they have this big lead. And you have to figure they'll lean on it a little bit more in the third and fourth quarters. Meanwhile, for the Rams, we take a look there at the numbers for them running the football in that first half. Both these teams, no doubt, making their final halftime adjustments as we speak. And for the call of the second half, we get it back out to Brandon Gutton and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thanks very much. Fine work as always as we welcome you back for quarter number three. So the Chargers will start the second half with the lead and the football as we're underway in the third quarter. No return here for Carter, and this will be a touchback. The Chargers getting ready to go here to start this third quarter. And they got the lead. CD, what do you think the message was at halftime? I don't think the message was too drastic, I think, at the half or that they need to change things too much. I do think the offensive line could play a little bit better. I think they'll try and help them out more. They'll probably keep a tight end in a few more times and maybe add a running back to the formation to pick up those pass rushers because they probably allowed a few too many sacks for comfort in the first half. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. On second down, Eckler. 43 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. What a dynamic player Eckler has become since going undrafted out of Western State. He was top five in rushing touchdowns and all-purpose yards last season while nearly getting his first 1,000-yard campaign on the ground. Somehow, he has yet to appear in a Pro Bowl. That seems likely to change this season. And he'll go out of bounds. It appears right at the 45. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. I think the defense surprised him there with that blitz on first down, but give him credit. Stayed cool under pressure and still found a way through the extra rushers for positive yardage. Well done. And that's going to be good for a Chargers first down as he's got this up to the 45-yard line. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Oh. 
First down, and they stick with Eckler. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Herbert now. He finds his target, Allen. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. 75 yards receiving for him now. It's a first down. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. This has certainly been a physical game so far. Limited scoring opportunities for both sides. And there's another chance that goes unfulfilled. To throw once more on second and ten. Herbert. And his throw here is incomplete. That's a big force of completion there to bring up third and long. And this defense can still salvage a little momentum by forcing them to kick a field goal. Because just a few plays ago, they looked like they were headed towards the end zone. To the air again, Herbert. And this is caught. He's got it. Touchdown, L.A. Jalen Guyton from 21 yards away. And the Chargers take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical, that's one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now, starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. Dustin Hopkins to kick off for the Chargers. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. No return on this one. It's a fair catch. A signal for and taken. Now the attention turns back to the Rams offense as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. And their halftime hole now even deeper. They need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger. But no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. A give up the middle to Akers. And it appears we have a charger shaken up on that last play. The medical staff will attend to him and we will step aside. Second down at five. Here's Stafford. Now that'll be caught by Cobb. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 35. Stafford is number one guy, Cobb, for a Los Angeles first. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. 77 yards rushing for Akers, and this is a first down. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this a little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. On first down at Stafford. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. They'll go with Akers here up the middle. Works his way inside the 30 on a pickup of four. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. A shotgun snap for Stafford. And he's going to go down. They get 
right to him back at the 40. Joey Bosa, his second sack of the night. My oh man, it's been a rough night for that offensive line, and it's only getting rougher. Five sacks now that they've given up in this contest so far. It feels like the witching hour out here, doesn't it? Okay, stupid question. What's the witching, witching hour? Yeah, the witching hour. That's when everything goes haywire late at night. So the response to that touchdown on the other side to begin the third quarter. Look, just three points, but still a response nonetheless. You're exactly right about that because I think you needed to answer back with something, even though it's not six. Just enough to send the message that says, hey, we're not going away. And Carter deciding not to bring this one out. The Charger offense making their way back out there. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Look at repeat that. Charles' defense, they were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? And he is going to lose yardage here. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package, and that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. On second and 11 now. Herbert. He's got a man. That's Keenan Allen. Two yards on the pickup there. And that's going to set up a tough third and nine. Simple drag route here. Lined up out left. He tried to work his way back across the field. You probably saw me twitch there, partner, because I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner. By the time he looked it in, defender was right on him. So no sack, he gets back to the line of scrimmage, but it will still bring up a fourth down. He certainly did his best to find something on that run, but there just wasn't enough time to make it happen. Nice effort there, avoiding the sack and getting back to the line of scrimmage. That one certainly could have ended up worse. Here's J.K. Scott now, as he's on to punt for L.A. Here's Powell on the return. 43-yard punt, but they get nine back on the return. The Rams offense now, they get set and head back onto the field. And Charles, they're certainly still right in this game, but they need that offense to wake up and in a hurry. Yeah, I like the way you put it. They certainly did seem to sleepwalk a bit in the first half. Now that their defense has done its job, it's their turn now to go out and try and get some points. Off the fake to Akers, here's Stafford sliding out of the pocket. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. His impatience has to be bubbling over, trying to find a way to get his team to the end zone for the first time. He did find a way to break contain and get outside to buy his receivers a little extra time, but the connection couldn't be made on that throw. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard game there. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now it's Stafford. Man open, it's Cup. He's got it. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. The pickup of 24 on the third down conversion. Now that's all about making something happen as a quarterback because instead of forcing something on third down, how about him buying some time outside of the pocket, waiting for someone to come open? And when he did, trying to get it to Robinson, and it's intercepted. Picked by Kenneth Murray, and the Chargers are going to take over a couple of yards shy of midfield. This defense, Charles, coming up with another interception. They have really done an excellent job of locking up these receivers. Yeah, they're really on fire. They are actually doing what they talk about all the time, which is plastering to receivers when they're in their zones. They didn't give up a touchdown in the first half. Haven't done so here in this half either. Blanket in the field going all the way back to the opening drive, and they come up with a pick right there. 
Herbert going to lead up the Chargers here first and 10. Just shy of midfield at the 48. They'll hand off here to Eckler. And he's going to take this one across midfield and into Ram territory. 60 yards rushing for him now to this point. Hey, it's not the most spectacular play, but I think most teams will take that every single time for the first play of the drive. Begin the series with positive yardage and set yourself up for a very manageable second down. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Sure, that pass was incomplete as they made an attempt to get a big one downfield. But that's okay because the second part of that is if you don't get the completion, at least you've told the defense you're trying to stretch them out a little bit, and they may have to change accordingly. Back to throw here, Herbert on the screen. This is Eckler, and he is going to lose yardage here. So that'll go as a four-yard loss on the play, and it'll be fourth down. Brandon, how about that reaction there from the defensive end, able to recognize the screen pass trying to happen, broke off his pass rush, and they get back to tackle the running back. That's a very athletic and intelligent play. Reminds me of you working out and seeing that the treadmill's open and getting there before anyone else. See, I know you're just patronizing me right now. Everybody knows at home that that is nothing but a shot at me, and I'll take it, absorb it, and we'll move on. Get a look at this offense led by Cooper Cup as they make their way back onto the field. And I know that they double-teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the lot. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. He'll get this into the hands of Van Jefferson. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the shotgun. And it's out. He put it on the carpet. Before they can get the punt away, whistles as we've come to the end of the third quarter of action. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. It's the Rams trailing, but they do have the football as we start the fourth and final quarter. Needing the tough yards, they run it with their fullback. And he is going to have the Rams first down by a good couple of yards as they get three there on fourth and inches. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now it's Stafford off the bootleg. Open man right side is Cup complete. A lot of effort there for just a three-yard gain, and now second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You tackle them almost on the spot. That means they have to run extra plays, harder to move it. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. All right, this is the time of the game where they're down a couple of scores, and they've really got to get some yards and chunks, and they know the defense doesn't want to give those up, but they've got to find a way to take them anyway. Now the question is, can they string a few of those together? Stafford hooking up with Akers, and this winds up a gain of four to the 41. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Obviously, this has not been a banner game throwing the football. So what you got to do, you got to kind of down focus, don't you think? Find the tight end, take some easier completions. Yeah, interception last drive there. He hits the reliable target. This will be play number nine of the drive here as they need four yards on third down. 
Man open is Robinson. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified, big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get the third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. Yeah, boy, this defense, again, really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Stafford now to throw. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Kenneth Murray in there to get him. That is the sixth time that they have sacked him tonight. There's a reason it's our linebackers are often captains of a defense. They call the signals. They have the opportunity to affect the game in coverage against the run and, of course, on blitzes. Living in the best of both worlds. Under pressure, they got him again. Sebastian Joseph Day breaking through for the sack. Oh, you can just see it in their body language. They're starting to see victory on the horizon now. And if it comes to fruition, they got to give a game ball to the front seven. Defensive line has taken charge and controlled this game. Face a challenge of stopping this opposing offense, and they've done so with ease. And it's complete. He's got him in the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. Allen Robinson, 32 yards. And the Rams have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Well, time to let those folks know who are tuning in looking for the late local news. And we may be a moment because we've got a game again. And partner, except for those on the West Coast where it'll be seen in its regular time, right? That's the way it works, doesn't it? But how about that big time drive right there? If they're going to have any chance, they needed a touchdown there. They went right down the field and worked their way into the end zone. Extra point by Gain is up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Now the Chargers offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. From the shotgun, here's Herbert. He'll drop this one off to Eckler. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And it's third and four now. Herbert. He's got Allen. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. And that certainly appears to be a critical conversion right there because not only do they keep the drive going, they take valuable time off the clock as well. They have to feel really good about that last completion. Running on first down, Eckler. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to take it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And it goes down. Multiple players getting home there, and it's a loss of two on the sack. But it's been a little bit of feast or famine because he's thrown for decent yardage, and obviously they've got the lead, Charles, but now he's been sacked four times. And what I'm focusing on is his toughness in the pocket because you mentioned the feast or famine part. He's played well in between being tough. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. They dial up the corner, blitz that time, and it delivers to the tune of a nine-yard loss. Here's J.K. Scott now as he's on the punt for L.A. We'll call that a 43-yard punt, two on the return. The offense for Los Angeles returns to the field. 
And it feels like the momentum has shifted. They scored, then their defense forces that last punt. And now a chance to tie the game on this possession. Stafford and the Rams come up first and 10 at 3 and 21. He starts with a give to Akers. And he's going to get this one across the 30 yard line. 97 yards on the ground for him now as he's gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. Stafford on first down. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. To throw again on second down, Stafford. And this throw incomplete. Well, the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. Throwing on third down, Stafford. They'll set up the screen here to Akers. And he'll be taken down well before the first at about the 36-yard line. Three yards, all they can muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. Dixon, the punter, is on as he sends it away. This is taken at the 18. That'll go as a punt of 42, seven on the return. So out come the Chargers. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. A play fake, and now Herbert to throw. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by David Wall. And he will bring it back. It's an interception return for a Rams touchdown. And the defense, they were all over that. As soon as that ball was in the air, it was dangerous. Not only was it intercepted, CD, but they return it for the touchdown. Yeah, and he read that the entire way. He was reacting before other players had a chance to react themselves. Had the determination to say, this just won't be a pick. It's going to be six points as he takes it the way to the end zone. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. Seventeen, seventeen. the score. All even to this point as it kicks away. DeAndre Carter now from his end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The Chargers offense gets set. They head back onto the field. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. They'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. So it's Charger football as we welcome you back from the two-minute warning. They've got a second down now as they search for a score to break this tie. After the sack on first down, Herbert finding Allen. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. All right, let's just put it on the table real quick here. This is two-minute drill. you got to know they're looking for the number one receiver. Yeah, you think they'd be ready for that that time? They weren't. So third down, and defensively, the Rams have added two extra DBs. Herbert. And that will be incomplete. Yeah, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'm guaranteeing he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. On is the punter Scott here as he gets this one away. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And they will take over first and 10. From the 
32 now. Here's first and 10. Now Stafford. Pass complete to Robinson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A gain of a